Welcome to a new tutorial. Today comes the hairy part because we want to create the fur for our character. At first let me turn on the shortcut keys and my plan is to create different vertex groups for different parts of fur. Like for the face here around the nose and then the neck and also here another vertex group for the eyes. So we go to the weight paint mode and then go to vertex groups here. It's here and here we add a new vertex group. Name it head. This is the first part. And now can paint it here. You see the X mirror is already activated. Now we paint, we make this weighting here for the head and for the neck. So paint everything from the head, the neck, back side from the head. Only mouth, nose and eyes. We don't want to paint now. the red color the hair is growing when we adding a particle system later. And around the nose and the mouth we adding a different vertex group later. For now this part looks good. In object mode we go to the particle settings, adding a new particle system, change into hair and name it head. The number of hairs we change into 500, hair length we can try with 0.04. Then we choose children and interpolate it and the children that increases the amount of hairs we go to hair shape and the root we change into 0.5 then we go to particle edit you can see the hairs here and then we go here to the vertex groups and on density we choose the head vertex group so the hair grows only there on this area and with the comb here with the virtual comb we can style the hair and we want to comb it the back side on top and here we can increase with F the size from the comb and the few here on the head, have a look here, you comb only the tip, it moves only on top back sides, okay? But the few here on the head, we need it very close on our character, on the mesh. And so we comb hair like that. We do the same thing on all the head and on the neck. In front, also downside, downside. We go to front view the hairs on the side and go to top and these hairs here on the side from the face we style them into sideways these hairs we come to downside
It is not complicated to create fewer. You just have to play around a little bit in the particle system here. And you see only 500 hairs here on our character, but we have the children activated. So that means that increases the hair size in 10, okay? So if it is not enough hair, you can change it later. You can add some more hairs later. You just have to render your character. Then you will see there are some holes maybe you have to fill with more hairs or not. And then we can activate this option here that makes our hair not so close on the character. So it comes a little bit more up, it looks more natural. Just comp it again. Creating hair in Blender you have to be patiently. It's the same thing like with girls and the hairdresser. That takes a lot of time sometimes. And then we go back to weight paint mode, to vertex groups and create a new vertex group here. And name it mouth. And this is the part around the mouth. Turn on the head to see what we have to paint. Because this character in Ice Age, he has something like a like a little bird here, and this is what we do now with this vertex group. And then we can change the part from the face a little bit here. We can add a little bit more now that looks great now we go back to the particle settings adding a new particle system and name it mouth 001 change it into hair 
The number of hair we can try with 10. The maximum length 0 0.06. Children interpolated. And the root here, uh, the beard is a little bit more bigger. 0 0.08. Density, mouth, 001. Particle edit. And now we can comp. So yeah, we can change into comp and let's try it here from the view on the bottom. And here we can go, can go to this mode where we can select the vertices and can try. Sometimes it's much easier to style the hair in that way. It looks a little bit strange because we want to have them uh, more downside. Come them again. Like a beard. Good, okay. Then we go to object mode and adding a material. For all the few, we need the same color from the texture, but not for the beard here. For the beard material, we want the color, this white color here from the texture, so we take this here. And then we go here to particle settings to render material. We change it into mouth 001. And now I show you another option to create vertex groups. Select the character, go to edit mode, go to the face select mode. Then you can select all the faces here where you want to create a vertex group. Now we make the part here from the eyes. Select all the faces. the wireframe mode that goes very quick. And so you can create vertex groups very clean. See how it looks.
now we get the right side. Let's finish the left eye. Don't forget to save. And then we select the loop here around. And also this part here, this lower part. We forget one. create a new vertex group name it eyes and click on assign now we go to weight paint mode you can see here <coughs> we have created these vertex groups here change to head and eyes it looks perfect And then back in object mode, we add a new particle system for the eyes. And change it into hair. The number, we can try it with 100 hair length. 0.04, same length like we use for head and neck. Children interpolated and the root 0.5. Go to particle edit and then here on vertex group on the particle edit particle settings we choose density the eyes and now we get the few on the eyes and the eyes are in front side okay this is different from the head and neck Let's do it like that and also here all the few very close on the mesh. Now we go back to paint mode. Adding a new vertex group. And name it hair. And this is the hair sit half here on back side from the head. It's just a few hairs. So we draw a line here. Back to object mode. 
go to the particle settings, setting a new particle system. And name it hair. So we choose hair. And the number. Try it with two. Hair length 0 0.4, maybe. The root, we choose 5. And the tip, 1. Then on density, choose hair. Particle edit, and now we get two hairs here. Okay, that looks okay. Have a look that the X mirror is activated. Then we go to this vertex select here. Go to select box and select the vertices here with X. Delete particle. Click on add and activate the topology mirror. The count we change from 10 into 2, the number and now let's add some hairs. Switch to this mode and turn on the comp and Okay, that looks good. Add a few more hairs to the count of two. here and also here and one more time and now start styling the lower hairs activate this option here and with the select box it is much easier all right and for the hair, we want to create a new material. Name it hair. And something like black. Go to render material and choose the hair. Back to weight paint mode. Now we add a new vertex group. And name it body. start painting from here. 
And we start with the lower part from the neck and the upper body in front, the belly, the shoulder, the part here on the side, around the arms. part here from the lower body and around the tail Okay, in object mode we go to the particle settings and adding a new particle system. Name it body, choose hair and the number. We can try it with 1200 hair length, 0 0.06, children interpolated and the root 0 0.05. Density, body. Now we go to particle edit and we come only the top from the lower neck very close to the body. Same thing like we did with the part from the head and the upper neck. But then on this part where starts the upper body, we come all the hair a little bit stick out okay the view is only very close on the character on the mesh on the head the upper neck and all the parts from the face like around the mouth and the eyes the body arms and legs the view is different it's a little bit more stand out and also at the tail Here, like this, it's a little bit stick out everything. Just come a little bit from the tip on every hair. And now we create a new vertex group for the arms. Then we go to weight paint modus. And now I show you another technique to create a vertex group. We can activate this face select mode here and then make sure that the X mirror is activated here 
And now here in weight paint modus, we can select all the faces. And when all the faces are selected that you need, then you just can use your brush and you can overpaint it with red color. And the other part from the arm, we can do much faster. Just go, just leave the face select mode here in weight paint mode and start painting. Now we create a new particle system. For the arms and then the number 1200 and choose hair and hair length. 0.1 interpolated children and 0.5 for the root and then go to vertex groups in the particle settings in density arms and to particle edit and style the view on the arms. And then we create a vertex group for the legs. To weight paint vertex group legs. look where starts the legs and almost here we change to the face select mode and we start drawing here on the feet the details And then we leave the face select mode and overpaint the rest of the leg. Then we go to object mode and to the particle settings and create a new particle system. For the 
legs, change it into hair. The number of hairs, let's try it with 1200. Hair length, 0 0.1. Children interpolated. And the root 0 0.5. Density, we choose lex. Now the last part from our character is the tail. So create a new vertex group. Tail. And start painting. And then in object mode, we create a new particle system for the tail. Change into hair and 400. Hair length 0.1. Children interpolated. Root. 0.5 and the density tail Now we can select the sculpted character, make invisible, select and with M move it to collection 2. Same thing we do with the eyes from the sculpted character. And this is the first render. It doesn't look bad. But a few things I already see what we have to change. I show you that zoom a little bit in here around the nose here we have to fill these parts the best way will be with a new vertex group there and the mouth also a C and here we got some holes these holes we have to fill adding some hair and here and this part and here and here you can try to uh, use the comb here at first and then when it still doesn't look good then we have to fill it with some hair I want to make also here a few changes on the texture, on the nose, this part here, let's have a look at the blueprint, paint a little bit around here, just 
paint a little bit more around here the nose and a little bit from side view on top And to show this in the render preview, always save the image before. And now we create a new vertex group here around the nose. Let's turn on the shortcut keys. Now, when I go to weight paint mode in the texture painting mode here, you can see the outlines here, okay? This is very helpful. I create a new vertex group. Here we can't see the outlines, but here we can see, so this is much better when we paint here directly around the nose. And let's do it. And then in object mode, create a new particle system. <coughs> and name it nose, change to hair. The number we try with 200. And the length of 0 0.04. Interpolated and a root of zero point eight. Here we choose the same material, like the mouth. And I think we got too much hairs there. But let's style them and then make a test render. And how I talked, it was a lot of hair. Now I show you how to change. Click on disconnect and then reduce the number of hair here go back to particle edit now you can see we got a lower size of hair and now let's do it again just style all the hair and after that make a render And this is the final result now. Now it looks really great. You can see here around the nose, it looks clean and nice. And I added a few more hairs here under the mouth, this area here. And here at the arms, I filled the holes with a lot of more hairs. And here at the upper body, I just used the comp because the hair was a little bit strange there. And also here 
at the legs. I filled the holes with much more hairs. Now we get a great result and in the next tutorial we rig the character to bring him to life. If you want to learn step by step how to create amazing 3D characters in Blender, click the link in the video description and register for a live webinar to learn in personal. And don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!